Send in blue versus ConvertKit. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about both of these tools, including the pricing, some of the features, what they are good for, and all of that good stuff. So if you are thinking about picking up one of these platforms or potentially switching from one to the other, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so what would I say about these two email softwares? Now, I would honestly say that these are two of the best email marketing softwares that you can buy. Like if you would go with either of these, I would say that that is a very solid choice. They do have some differences. Like for example, the first thing that I would say is Send in Blue also offers SMS. So if we take a look at the features, you can see that in Send in Blue, we can not only do email, but we can also do SMS marketing. Uh, now, of course, you do have to pay for extra for this feature, but it is there and it can be super, super profitable to combine SMS with email. Whereas ConvertKit, like they offer no such thing. It is just email marketing on its own. So if you want to do SMS as well as email marketing, then it's a pretty obvious choice which one you would go for. But apart from that, they are both pretty similar softwares in that what they actually are is drag and drop email marketing autoresponders. So what you will be able to do is basically load up the email marketing software, choose a design or a template, and then you will be able to use the drag and drop tool to customize or edit the email. Pretty simple, right? Now, that is what is awesome about these is that they make it so, so simple and easy to create your emails. So as I say, they're pretty similar apart from Send in Blue offers SMS. So the main thing that you would need to be worried about or the main thing that is going to set them apart is the pricing. So the first thing that I want to mention is the fact that you can get free trials with both of these softwares. So on ConvertKit, you get a free trial that you can use for up to 300 subscribers on your list. And with this, you get unlimited landing pages, unlimited forms, unlimited broadcast, basically everything that you need. And this is a very limited version of ConvertKit. Like you don't get your automated email sequences or anything like that. So that is the free trial on ConvertKit. Now send in blue, rather than having 300 subscribers that you can have, rather you can send 300 emails a day. Now I would say that send in blue, the free trial is better because you get more things that you would need to use. So that is the free trial, but once again, I would probably recommend trying both of them out and seeing which one you prefer to use because they do have different user interfaces. But that is the free trial. That is not really important. What is really important is how much do they actually cost? So first of all, on Send in Blue, which plan do you want to go for? Starter, business, or enterprise? I would recommend going for starter. Now, the reason for this is because if we go to the features, you get basically everything you need in this starter section. And unless you need like a landing page builder, send time optimization, a few other things that are a little bit more advanced in my opinion, then you will be fine going with starter. On ConvertKit, once again, just go with creator, the cheaper version. You get everything you need, like the automated email sequences, unlimited forms, unlimited landing page. So actually, you actually get more with the lower plan on ConvertKit than you do with the lower plan on Send in Blue. Because on ConvertKit, you get like landing pages and such. So that is something we need to take into account when we actually work out the pricing. In terms of pricing, the way that these two plans or the way that these two are priced is very different. With ConvertKit, it depends how many email subscribers you have for the price. And then with Send in Blue, it doesn't matter about the subscribers. It's more about how many emails you want to send. So to be honest, this makes it pretty tricky to figure out like an exact which one is cheaper. But what we can do is figure out a baseline. So let's just say that you want to send 10 emails to your list every single month. Now, of course, some people will want to do more. Some people will want to do less. And I will talk about that. But we are using 10 as a base example. So let's say that you have 5,000 subscribers and you want to send 10 emails to your list every month. So that would be 50,000 emails. So if we go here, okay, apparently we can't do 50,000. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's try 60. So you can see that on ConvertKit for 5,000 subscribers, this would cost $79 a month. On Send in Blue for 60,000 emails, it's $49 a month. So Send in Blue is cheaper is what I would say. The only time that ConvertKit would be cheaper is if you are sending like an email every single day or you are sending a lot of emails to your list. Then ConvertKit would be cheaper because you get unlimited emails and you just pay for the subscribers. Otherwise, if you send less emails, like look at this, if we go to 10,000 subscribers and 100,000 emails, 
Look how much cheaper it is. So that is what I would say. Unless you're sending like 25 or 30 emails a month to your list, then send in blue is going to be cheaper. And that is what I would recommend. Otherwise, like if you do send a lot of emails, hey, ConvertKit is a very, very good software as well. And that will actually work out cheaper if you send a lot of emails. So that is what I would say. Now, that was Send in Blue versus ConvertKit. If you learned something from this video or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.